here at Rapid 2023, there are a lot of part making technologies that involve metals and resins. But of course, for engineering, there's a lot more than just metals and resins. Ceramics are a vitally important material. I'm with Hanan Gotte, he's founder and president of XJet. Hanan, ceramics. Ceramics are vitally important in engineering there, and you have a way to 3D print them. Tell me how. So, we at XJet developed a new technology for printing, uh, building parts made of ceramics. And the same technology applies also for metal, so this machine is on metal. But ceramics is, is really important for us. We have, uh, we introduced zirconia and alumina, the first two ceramics we, we introduced to the market. And it's a totally different uh, technology. Uh, we using uh, a dispersion, we take powder of ceramics, standard high quality powder of ceramics, mix it with our special liquid and call it an ink. This is the material and we actually jet it. With, with inkjet, with, with uh, thousands of nozzles simultaneously, uh, we are the only company in the world that actually jetting the material, and this is the uniqueness of our technology. The outcome of what we do is super high quality ceramic parts, uh, 10 micron layer thickness, uh, any structure you like, because our support material is a different material. The structure is made from a second material that washes away in, in, in liquid, in water. At the end of the day, uh, the process is really easy. Uh, you print, you build parts quite quickly with 10 micron layer thickness, and you take the tray, you place it into our system of removing the support, and then they go into sintering with relatively low shrinkage. 14%, 14 to 15% shrinkage, and you get a final part with super high density, up uh, more than 99% uh, density. Now that's a radically different approach to this. Normally, of course, the ceramics, we think about um, perhaps hot isostatic pressing, unixal pressing, maybe using stearate additives to try and get that green compact as dense as you can at this point. This is completely different. It is, it is a completely different process. Uh, obviously, you don't need molds. Uh, there's no powders, there's no vat of polymers. It's a straight jetting of the material and then building up the parts really nicely and really uh, green part, by the way, are uh, high density by themselves. And when going to a uh, furnace, you finish it and you get beautiful parts of any geometry. Uh, how complex a geometry can you make with this process? So uh, we are trying to challenge ourselves to see how far we can go, but we didn't find the barriers yet. So we can do really crazy stuff internal channels, uh, we have customers coming to us with, with small parts that have channels inside and uh, our support removal system uh, that washed by water in ceramics really cleans everything up nicely and then you sinter it and you get the final part with, with the outside look naive but the inside is, is extremely complex. Yeah. Now, historically, of course, we think of ceramics, we think of applications which are must endure high temperatures, perhaps abrasive environments, the same chemical resistance environments. Uh, which industries do you expect will be the ones who are likely to adopt this technology? So we have we have a lot of uh, attraction from uh, we've been at, I mean a lot of business coming from medical devices, jewelry. Jewelry is really nice. I mean, watches, all this area of high quality uh, um, jewelry. Uh, headphones, uh, ceramics is not only good in for abrasion and uh, resistance in chemical, it's also good for voice and sound. So uh, voice and sound really flow amazingly into through ceramics and the sound you get is much better than metal or plastic. So headphones are now, some uh, companies are, are evaluating them and it's beautiful application for us. Uh, watches, of course, you know, watches of made of ceramics, it exists today. And finally, you can 3D print them without the mold, and you can do, do them in short runs or any geometry you like. Um, medical device is quite big, so we have a lot of uh, activity in medical device. And one, I don't want to forget that, is really important, dental. Dental is, is important because many parts today in the dental industry are made of, of zirconia, for instance, uh, dental crowns. And, and other applications that are being uh, developed uh, today. High density ceramic parts, 3D printed at XJet. At Rapid TCT 2023, the air was electric. The excitement about manufacturing in America is palpable. New technologies, new ways of implementing additive manufacturing, not just for prototyping, but as a true production process, were all over this show floor. The future looks very bright for manufacturing in America based on what we have seen here. Thanks for joining us on the show floor. See you next time.
Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today.